Well, you make your season debut last weekend in San Diego. How did it feel on the smaller ice surface and maybe a little more contact compared to Europe? Yeah, it was really good to get back out there and play. I played one preseason game, but uh, getting back in a real full pace game was great. It, it was almost seven months for me. My season ended pretty early in Europe, so that time off. But out there, I felt great, and you know, it was good to get back out and out on the ice and, and play my first game. I don't know if anybody has a better perspective on Texas San Antonio than you since you've played for both organizations. It's a 14-game season series. That's a lot of games, but how much importance is there on game one in terms of setting the tone for such a lengthy season series? When you play a team that that, that often, it, it, the rivalry is natural and, and only you know exudes itself because we're right down the street from each other. And uh, when you look at the playoffs and how, how hard it is to get in the playoffs in this league, when you play one team so much, that season series could literally mean making the playoffs or missing it. So uh, every game is important against these guys, and, and hitting them three in a row right here is gonna. It's kind of like a mini playoff series right, right away in October. So it'd be good good test for our young guys, and, and a good test for our, us as a team as a whole to, to see where we're at. You mentioned the three game series. It can certainly take its toll on the body when you're playing three games in three nights. But as you said, you want to set that tone early on in game one. So is there a line you have to balance? How do you navigate a situation like that? I think uh, today's game, guys are in such good shape and work out year round. I think, uh, I mean, three and three does, it starts to get a little taxing on you, but we're a lot, we're fortunate enough in, in the West where we only, I think this might be our only one all year. And guys are 18, 19, 20 years old and it, we'll, we'll be all right. When you look at this upcoming series, you know, it, it's basically been a year since you've been a part of this organization, but it's still Derek Laxdahl, it's still Travis Moore and Justin Dowling. Much difference from when you were here, you know, a year, a year and a half ago. Is there a lot of difference from what you've seen, or is it pretty much kind of the same thing? Uh, I can speak to. I think this 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 group of guys is really great. We've gelled already. It's a it's a fun group to be around. Uh, that that makes it coming home uh, per se uh, even better to to be around such a good group of guys. And coaching staff is the same. And and I think they preach uh, just the evolution of the game is everything speed, 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 speed. So if you want to get to the NHL, you you, you got to play that way. And like I said, it's just a good group of guys to be around, and uh, the, the guys that I didn't know are great guys, and the guys that I did know that are still here, are, you know, they're the, they're the core of this team that have been here for a while. You're one of the older veterans on this team. You talked about the speed. How are your legs feeling? I actually, you know what, no joke, this has been a really good start of the year for me. I feel really good. Uh, changed some things up this summer, you know, got a little bit smarter in my eating habits, worked out a little different, kind of kicked, kicked the heavy, heavy weights and, and focused more on, you know, just conditioning and training that aspect of my body. And I feel really good right now, so let's keep it going that way. A lot of different veterans on this team. You talked about getting to know some of these guys. Does it help the babysitting situation? There's a few more guys with kids this year for you. Oh man, I, I've set out a couple games and uh, being up in the the suite with the family, it's it's absolute chaos up there. But <laughs> my kids love it. I know every uh, we got so many kids on this team. It's great, you know, for for them to have friends right off the bat. They they make their own friends sometimes at school, but it's nice to have uh, friends outside of school that that they know and and then on the weekends come here and hang out at the game together.